Bruh. Okay. Hey guys, it's me, creepy middle-aged man, back at it again with that really gross Emma Chamberlain fanfiction that I was talking about. So, I'm just gonna get right into it. Chapter 2. Movie Night. Emma and Ethan heard the garage door shut and Grayson yelling E's name. Emma quickly got dressed and so did Ethan. He walked downstairs and said hello to Grayson. Grayson looked at Ethan a bit suspicious. E, how come there are scratch marks on your back? Ethan quickly tried to make up an excuse. I, uh, hit my back on the counter and fell scratching my back on the corner. Grayson wasn't buying it. E, what's actually going on? Grayson's voice was demanding. Emma was trying to make her way around Ethan's room and accidentally knocked Bruh. something over, making a loud crash on the floor. The few? Grayson said. Grayson ran upstairs, Ethan yelling at Grayson not to go upstairs. Grayson barged into Ethan's room, spotting Emma. Emma? Grayson turned a bit pale. G Grayson, I, um... Emma choked on her words. Ethan walked into the room nervously. Grayson looked at both of them and looked down at Ethan's pants. He still had a major bulge, clearly showing through his shorts. Oh. My. Gosh. <coughs> you guys were literally freaking. Grayson was furious. Ethan piped up. Gray, please, don't tell anyone. I'll do anything. E, you were literally freaking Emma. Grayson's voice louder. Ethan just looked down. Emma had no words. I can't believe you guys. Grayson was disappointed. Ethan then looked up at Grayson and walked over to him. He whispered something in his ear. His face went a bit, a bit pale. Fine, I won't tell anybody about this, as long as you don't tell anybody that Ethan... Ethan looked at Grayson with a smirk and winked. Ethan smacked Emma's ass and they walked back to bed. Grayson walked back to his room and he heard moaning and profanities coming from Ethan's room. Okay, now we switched point of views, which is kind of weird because the fanfiction had stayed in third person for a while. At least I think that's what that was. I don't remember second grade literature very well. <clears throat> I could not believe Ethan. Literally freaking Emma. I can't believe I'm reading this. I thought he was better than that. And as I was walking away, I heard moaning from his room. I just put earbuds in and closed my door. As I was sitting, as I was sitting there, I heard a knock on my door. I got up and walked towards my door and opened it to see Emma. Oh, hey, Emma. I looked at her, but she said nothing. I pulled her into my room and sat her on my bed and sat next to her to talk. Grayson, I'm sorry for what I did. I just looked at her, still a bit upset. But why, Emma? IDK, Grayson. I just, well... <sighs> Things just led to one another, and it happened. I leaned in to hug, and she had the same idea, and we accidentally pressed lips together. I quickly released myself. OMG, in sorry, Emma. I wasn't sure if Emma was a little drunk or not. Maybe she just, because she just stared at me with this weird look. Then she just said, Grayson, w will you kiss me? My jaw dropped a little, and no words came out. But Emma... You, Ethan, and she just got up and closed my bathroom door and locked it. Oh, she just got up and closed my bedroom door and locked it. Emma, what are you doing? I said a bit nervous. Emma pushed me down onto my bed and got on top of me. Oh God, not this again. She took my shirt and raised it over my head. I couldn't see anything but the shirt over my face. Next thing I felt was Emma running her hands over my stomach. My face turned red under my shirt. I knew what was I knew it was wrong, but I started to get very hard. Oh God. Emma moved Emma moved back and ran her body right over the top of my shorts, rubbing against my upcoming border. I had She stopped right near my pants. 
She ran her fingers around my bulge. I bit my lip. I muttered under my breath, Frick! Emma slowly took my shorts off, leaving me in only in boxers. She ran her fingertips around the rim of my boxers. She then took she then took the shirt off my face. She rubbed her body on my bulge. I tilted my head back. Shoot. Ah. She slowly took her crop top off and her jeans off. Oh, God. One thing led to another, and now me and Emma were fricking. I had to silence her every time she moaned. End of POV. Oh, boy. I feel a burp coming, but I know it's not gonna. Okay. Grayson and Emma were now in Grayson's room. Grayson got on top of Emma, started roughly kissing her neck, giving her hickeys. She ran her fingers through his hair. His hands ex- I mean- Yeah, that was right the first time. His hands explored Emma's body. Grayson started to kiss her now, the- his tongue lightly grazing Emma's lips, asking for entrance. Emma teased him, but finally let him in. The kisses were passionate and harsh. Grayson stuck a finger up her- Bruh. That's wrong. The cl- isn't the- Bruh. That's not the whole. I'm sorry, th- this anatomy is kind of- Wrong. Oh, whatever, let's just finish this freaking sack of garbage before any teachers find out. Then two fingers, then three. He pushed them in. Okay, so basically there was a teacher that was there the entire time and just listened to me read the entire thing. I'm I'm ashamed. I'm very ashamed of myself right now. No oh god. He pushed them in, hitting her G-spot. He pushed her head into this, his chest to muffle her moans. Grayson laid Emma on, flat out on his bed. He licked her body and started from her inner thighs and started to make her way up to her neck. He bit down on her neck, le- leaving another hickey. He pulled at her hair. He whispered in Emma's ear. Want me to stop, little s- Bruh. Emma didn't want to stop, but she was exhausted. Her and Grayson stopped, and she got dressed, said bye to both of them, and walked to her car, thinking to herself, OMG, I did not just get fricked by both of the Dolan twins. Emma turned red as she drove off. Finally, this freaking hell that I've put myself through is over. Anyhow, bye, guys. I, I'm so sorry that you had to listen to this, and I'm so sorry that I got the idea to make this. I just wanted to get clicks. I'm sorry. And also, if you're an Emma Chamberlain fan or Ethan Dolan fan, and I'm just freaking sorry. This is bad. It's over now, though, so yeah.